discussions. You are watching. You're watching. You guys are watching. You're watching. You're watching soulful discussion. All right, so hi, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Doing great, I'm doing great. All right, so how did we just meet right now? I know it was completely random too, <laughs> but how did we just meet? Um, I just came back from a couple errands okay. and then you just crashed into me on the street. <laughs> Didn't crash into her, no, but yeah, we, I was driving by and I was like, hey, can I interview you? You were like, about what? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, and so what did I push about? What are we doing today? Um, you said you wanted to ask me about mental health uh -huh. and uh -huh. Reflexology. Like Absolutely. Yeah. So now when you hear the subject, the word feet, what do you think about immediately? What goes through your mind? My feet. Your feet? You think about your feet? Okay. Yeah. Dope. Okay. I don't usually get that one, but okay, cool. So today I'm going to ask you some questions about, about how you feel about feet. You can just like feel free to answer however you like, okay? Okay. Um, what about mental health? Are there any topics that maybe you feel strongly about or maybe that come to mind like when you hear that term? Mental health. Yes. Um. I would say I'm still learning about it myself Okay. because, I mean, I wasn't really introduced or or um, taught about it yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. And I grew up in a strict Asian family, okay. so we didn't talk about feelings yeah. and this and that. Yeah. And so when I got into relationships, I realized how many issues I actually have. Okay. Well, that, but that's good that like you can identify and you're like, okay, this is something no, that yeah. I have, and then you can actively do something about it, right? Exactly. All right. So today we're going to talk a little bit about social media, the impacts it can have on mm. depression and anxiety. Mm -hmm. Feel free to answer however you like, okay? Okay. What about reflexology? You asked me as soon as I said that, you're like, yeah. what is that? Okay. Exactly. Yeah, so you probably know what it is, but you just probably don't recognize the term. Right. So okay. I'll give you some information about it. You can tell me, have you heard of it before? Yeah. Or what you think about it, okay? okay? Sound good? Yeah. All right, let's get started with the questions, okay? What's, uh, what are your thoughts about how like the world's starting to become more aware of mental health and like mm -hmm. what we're starting to do about it? What do you think about that? I actually love it because, okay. it was funny because when I graduated college, I was thinking, I, I mean, graduated high school, mm -hmm. I wanted to maybe become, like, I wanted to major in psychology. Okay. But my parents, they they didn't approve of it. They didn't think there was gonna be any money in uh, it. They yeah. just wanted me in scrubs, oh, you know. Wow. Okay. And and it's crazy because if I would have went to school for it, now I would have been thriving by now awesome. because of how mental health has become such such a big thing. Yeah, right? now. Well, yeah. I think there's something that you should think about, right? It's never too late to start doing something that we want to do. Yeah. Like so, I think that that did happen. It's something that you can identify, but. You can still go do that. That's what you want to do. And it may, because here's what I think about things, yeah. right? In terms of life, I think that we have to decide the things we want to do. And even if we may get there later than some other people, mm -hmm. as long as we get to where we want to be at, we should we should go. So if that's something yeah. that you like feel really feel strongly about, and maybe you know you want to do that to help other people and things like that, man, go do it, man. Why not? Definitely. It's never too late. I did. I I don't know where I heard it from, but like. They said that you know when your when your body's hurting or something mm -hmm. happens to your body, it's like you go to the doctors. But it's like, what if your mind's hurting? Exactly. But nobody. No there, and there's and I think yeah. like you said, like we're starting to become more aware of it now. So yeah. I feel like you're gonna see a bigger boom in the future. So that's something you want to do, man. Go do it. Yeah. Like, get out there and do it. Thank um, you. What are your thoughts about social media, first of all, and then how do you use social media yourself? Yeah. Okay. So I feel like it's a constant battle in my head you know thinking like you what you see on social media of course isn't always real yeah. and <laughs> I just have to think back to the old days where people just posted just to post you know yeah. be with your friends this and that and people weren't trying to be influencers yeah like trying to do some, yeah absolutely it's like yeah. now it's become this like rat race and seeing who can who can do the best and everything like that yeah absolutely gone gone a little bit out of control yeah you kind of you i just don't try to let it get to my head yeah. you know and just try to be happy with what i look like and what what i have yeah. you know so well because there's not a lot of yous out there right <laughs> there's only one you exactly you know, like so you should be definitely happy about that like, yeah so i never feel like you should be um in terms of social media right let's say somebody came to you and said change whatever you want to what would you change? Because I would 
would say some about the influencers part. Okay. But there's a lot of good you could do with it too. True. So. So maybe it's more about the people changing, like the way they go about it. Like, yeah. Because like to me, it's like Instagram, all these different uh, platforms are like tools. Yeah. And depending on how we use them, right, they can be good or bad. So I feel like sometimes it's the people who need to know, like, be educated and like talk, like, yeah. hey, here's some of the ways that you can help others out, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, in terms of anxiety, right, is there anything that brings you anxiety? And if so, like, what are some things you do to counteract, like, the feelings that you have during those moments? Well, I've always been very shy. Okay. So. This is a step out of your comfort zone. Like, <laughs> it completely actually, random. You're it like, actually oh. is. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. But I am also, like, go with the flow, too. Got it. Yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm very easygoing, I would say. Okay. So, like, the last few years, I've been trying new things a little more because I did move out of my parents' house, so. Okay, still. I've been doing more me still, and growing, man. and so I'm Ever still. Evolving. Yeah. Yeah. Still. Yeah, so there's a lot of changes recently. Okay, that's good, man. That's like you starting yeah. to find who you are. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Um, so, I'm intrigued to like figure out like these questions like how you're going to respond to these you kind of already told us a little bit earlier but how do you feel about your feet what are your thoughts my feet yeah um i personally used to hate my feet okay uh growing up and so i would never wear like sandals or like anything open toed and then it wasn't until like maybe towards the end of high school i kind of started not not to care or think that like they weren't that bad. <laughs> Got it. You weren't in your own head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good, man. Um, not a lot of people feel that way. Um, in terms of have you ever seen compliments? Anybody ever compliments you? Yeah. Okay. You talking yeah. men? Women? Oh, uh, men. They would. They would say I have, I have nice feet. Yeah. Okay. When you get a compliment about that, mm -hmm. right? How does it make you feel? Um. I would say it's good because like I said before I used to not like my feet yes. so yeah. that kind of feeds into that okay yeah absolutely so now you, you're like a little bit more confident about my confident feet about <laughs> you're like, oh, that's cool. and okay, I'm getting cool. compliments about it yeah that's dope that's yeah. dope um in terms of compliments you receive right now just about your feet in general is there a certain compliment that make, makes you feel like a lot better than others like right so like, like a compliments you on yeah specific anything. compliment yeah anything um I would say anything that doesn't have to do with my physical, okay, like so they, more in depth. Yeah. Okay. So like maybe personality, yeah. sense of humor, things like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm finding that I get those answers a lot. That's good. Um, in terms of like if you were dating somebody or you want to start dating somebody, um, if what would you consider to be like a deal breaker in somebody? Like where you're like something I can't do. Controlling. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. Want some free money? Yeah. <laughs> I was I've been controlled my whole life by my parents yeah. and even and then I jumped into a relationship for years uh -huh. the, the same environment yeah, yeah, yeah. so I finally was able to break out of that so now you're like free yes out here living never my life. again yeah there you go so that's great yeah. I think you need to I think everybody needs to be with somebody who allows them the freedom to be them and like to, to have something outside yeah. of the relationship right? yeah um, and I feel like as long as you be respectful to the relationship and everything, but like exactly. you're gonna need time to be with your friends and like just do stuff that's just you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how often do you get pedicures? I would say once a month, gel? but gel, yes. Yeah. Nice one, <laughs> once right? Yeah. All right. Nice, nice. Have you ever heard of medical pedicure before? Medical pedicure. Yeah. No. Medical pedicure is when you go see a podiatrist, specialist uh -huh. in the foot. Uh, they take a look at your feet to make sure like your toenails grow correctly, your I've toe alignment is that. right. Yeah, no. they check they check for like dead skin fungus and they use medical grade equipment to do like all this work. Oh. What would your thoughts be on seeing somebody like that, like as opposed to cosmetic use? Um, that sounds like probably like once a year type thing. Yeah, maybe? yeah, yeah. Something yeah. it's something like kinda of going to the dentist, right? So yeah. for your feet to like get insight into like, okay, 
if, am I doing the right things with my feet? Am I taking care of them? Right. Like, yeah. You know, am I using the right lotion to keep them moisturized? Uh-huh. Things like that. Yeah, I used to be on my feet all all day. I was working minimum wage, so yeah. I was on my feet all the time. Man. But you don't think about taking care of you them. You do not think about yeah. that at all. I feel you. Um, how often do you wear open toe shoes, sandals, flip flops, things like that? How often? Mm-hmm. Um, a lot. Like I'm wearing sandals now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So as much so, as you have the opportunity to, I would imagine. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, how often do you go barefoot? No shoes. Um, not probably only when I'm in the shower. Okay. Yeah, my my place is like hardwood floor, so. Got it. Got yeah. It. Now, have you ever heard of earthing and grounding? Mm-hmm. So, like earthing and grounding, when you go barefoot in grass, dirt, sand, oh. it's like um, something that like kind of provides like a more relaxation, a more meditative like feeling, like yeah. just allowing you to kind of unclog and like you know I understand. feel that freedom. Like, yeah, you, you ever tried that? Before? No, I haven't. Okay, would that be something you would try in the future? Kind of like yeah, yeah, something like that. Going yeah. out, man, to the beach, just putting your feet in the sand, yeah. just like getting that nice feeling, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, so now. Can we see what your feet look like? Sure. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. All right, let me get you the, you can leave them in the sandals for now. Just okay. put both your feet like that. All right. All right, cool. And what size do you wear? I wear an eight. I haven't got them done. I've been meaning to get them Don't worry done. about that. Don't worry about that. We don't yeah. get them So you got pretty good toe alignment. Your toes are more on the long side, right? Yeah, I have, okay. my pinky toes are, are short. Okay. Yeah. And so I can see here, is your second toe longer or your bigger toe longer? Looks like your second. My second toe, yeah. Okay, so you have what's called the Grecian toe alignment. I don't know if you know about that. So if your bigger toe is bigger as Egyptian, second toe oh. is bigger is called a Grecian. It's a Greek toe. So oh, you Greek have toes. that one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you may have some type of Greek lineage in you somewhere. Okay? Oh, wow. That's All crazy. Right, cool. Let me get you take your sandals off. Okay. Okay. And then, yeah, let's place them down flat again. Okay, and I love the tattoo. You got some stars Thank on you, yeah. And you got an anklet on. <laughs> okay, so you can dress your feet up and try to make them like, yeah, look nice and everything a little like bit. That. This was like unplanned. I remember I went with my friend to get her tattoo. Uh-huh. Um, but she, she she pressured me into getting something. <laughs> you so got to get like, something too. <laughs> yeah, so I, wa- I didn't know. I wasn't sure what I wanted. I wanted to get something simple, but something I wouldn't hate. Okay. So I was like, this is cute. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, now let me get you to stand your feet out and kind of put them up here. So straight. Like this? No, put them straight this okay. way. Yeah. And then, yeah, there you go. And then toes up. Okay. There you go. All right. Cool. So now, how are you feeling? We kind of just met. I know I mentioned the random way I was driving <laughs> by and you, and I was like, hey, can I interview you? How are you feeling though, kind of going through this and taking a look at your feet, asking some questions? How are you feeling? This feet topic is very, like, catching me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there any anxiety? Do you feel uncomfortable? Anything like there that? There is a little bit uncomfortable. Okay. Just so, a I want to get into, like, the mental health behind it, right? <laughs> and leave your feet up. We're going to go through a couple more slides, okay? okay? So during quarantine, like I learned about exposure therapy. Are you familiar with that? Exposure, no. Okay. I've heard about it though. Okay, so exposure therapy is all about for for people who like tend to overthink situations, right? Oh, that's. So they're like presented with a situation and they think about like all these different things can happen. Well, this might happen, that might happen. In reality, a lot of those things they're thinking about won't actually happen, right? Mm-hmm. So what therapists do to try to like help people get out of that, like get out of your head, right? Go out and do those things you're uncomfortable with, right? Okay. And you're supposed to go out and do it over and over again. Oh, right? I see. Okay. So that you can get used to like those feelings of like being uncomfortable. Like, okay, mm-hmm. I'm uncomfortable in this situation. But like, what do I do? Because like in life, we're going to encounter situations that are like going to make us feel uncomfortable. And we can't always be like, well, I'm not going to do that or I'm going to run away. So how do we like build coping mechanisms and things like that so that we can deal with it, right? So that's what the therapist wants these people to do. Yeah. So when you're in those moments, you just want to ask yourself, okay, like, is anything happening to me? Is anything bad happening? Anything like that? You know, if like, you can't see anything like that, you should proceed because, like, usually those moments are the ones that are going to allow you to experience, like, life to its fullest. Like, yeah. Experience what life is truly like. So when I heard about that, I was like, man, let me take that and tie that together and set my feet. A lot okay. of people feel uncomfortable about it. A lot of people are like, yeah. it's a weird topic, things like that. Uh-huh. And I wanted to like tie those two together to like interview women and see what their thoughts would be. Like, how would you feel about like if the guys you know, interviewing you about okay. this? Can you be comfortable during the interview? <laughs> are you going to start freaking out or anything like that? And uh, to see what type of reactions I get. I get different yeah. reactions. I get some women who are like, sure, you know, I have no problem. Some yeah. women are like, I don't know how to feel. And then yeah. some women who are like, man, I don't know. I'm not doing that. So. <laughs> But I'm hoping through my interactions, right, for, for people who may, like, have an interest in life. They may, like, like feet, right? Okay. And they want to be accepted by everybody. Um, but they feel like if they tell somebody that, somebody's going to look at them as weird and odd and things like that. So hopefully through my interactions, women, people can learn to, like, be more comfortable and yeah. normalize the conversation with people. Okay. 
see. What are your thoughts about that? Like, kind of what I'm doing. Um, it's very different, yeah. but I like it. I mean, definitely go for it. Everyone, everyone has their own thing. I don't. I'm not one to to judge or. I mean, it's something to question. It's. Yeah. It's different. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. Exactly. So. Um, that's kind of what, what my channel is all about. I'm trying to like promote positivity, like I said, creating normalcy through something that other people might find to be odd okay. or weird or anything like that. Cool? That's cool. All right, let's talk about reflexology now and then we'll okay. let you get up out of here. Okay, so reflexology is about the different pressure points you actually have in your hands mm -hmm. and in your feet. Those pressure points actually connect to different parts of your body. So, for example, let's say through massage, through acupuncture, through acupressure, you can alleviate stress and tension to different parts of your body, right? Okay. So let's say you're somebody who deals with migraines, right? Uh -huh. There's a portion of your foot in your hands you can massage that will alleviate tension that you feel in those moments, right? Um, okay. There's also a section for like, if you're like congested with mucus when you sit, another section you can like massage and apply pressure to, alleviates that milk, mucus buildup. What are your thoughts about that? Kind of like being able to help your body out just yeah. like by massaging and applying pressure. What's your thoughts? That's really cool, actually. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. And that's actually something you might be able to do, too. Uh -huh. Like if you're ever feeling stressed or anything like that, just going to get like a little massage or whatever like that can yeah. help you feel like 10 times better. Actually. Massage. Yeah, I don't get those very often. You should. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. So now with that being said, we went to reflexology. Uh -huh. Like during this portion, we talk about sensitivity. Mm -hmm. How ticklish do you tend to be? I'm... I'm pretty ticklish. That's probably why I never got massages because okay. I was scared of being ticklish. Okay, so now when you get pedicures, <laughs> are you really ticklish? Uh, when they scrub the feet, scrub really the ticklish. bottom, yeah. Um, but I've gotten used to it, okay. so I don't react as much. But it's okay. still ticklish for sure. I have a trick for you. What is All right, it? We might have to test on camera so I can tell you what it is. is okay. Cool? All right. Cool. Let me get you to point your toes up like this again. All right. Let's start from bottom to top. Tell me where it's most sensitive and then which foot is most sensitive, okay? Okay. All right, so one, two, three. All right, and where do you right feel? There. Right there. <laughs> right in your arch area? Yeah. What about at the top? Not uh, so much? Yeah, yeah. But right there, okay. Yeah. Let's try the left. Tell me if this one is worse, okay? Okay. One, two, three. Is this one worse or less? It's, I feel worse. Worse? Okay. Yeah. Here's what I want you to try. Wiggle your toes while I'm doing it. Okay. Do this, more or less. Is it less? It's less, yeah. You know why? <laughs> Why? So your mind's actively thinking about doing something, right? So uh -huh. it's a distraction for you, really, right? But at the same time, your muscles are moving, so it can't pick up on the sensation. Oh, wow. So you get your pedicures. Yeah. Do this a little bit. Alleviates <laughs> it. Just try the left one. Tell me if it's, okay. if it's less. Wiggle here. Okay. Less, right? Yeah, it's less. More manageable, right? Yeah. Good. All right. So I'm going to get you to do a couple exercises, and this is going to be test the dexterity and flexibility of your feet, okay? Okay. Cool. From that position, let me just get you to bend your toes. Make a fist. Tell okay. me if you feel pain or discomfort. Is that easy to do? It's easy to do, No yeah. pain? No. Okay, relax. Okay. Spread your toes. Tell me if you feel pain or discomfort. Okay, uh, a little hard to do. They don't spread as much, right? No. I'm guessing you don't really do these movements for a while, okay? Cool. I'll give you some tips. Uh, lastly, just wiggle your toes for about 10 seconds. Tell me if you feel pain, discomfort, anything no. with cramping, nothing like that. Mm. We're good? Okay. So here's a little tip for you. So when you wake up in the morning, take a golf ball or a tennis ball, uh -huh. right? Just take your foot. Roll it across it to like loosen up all the muscles and tendons you have in your feet. Uh -huh. And just practice some of those movements. It will definitely like loosen up like your toes and stuff. Okay. Cool. That'll help with like ticklish. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, well, that'll help you definitely with the flexibility so that you can oh, be okay. more flexible in those movements. Okay. All right. So let's wrap it up. Okay. In terms of my approach coming up to you, asking me to do the interview, was it good? Was it bad? What were your thoughts about my approach? Um, it was good. It was, it was kind. It was. Um, I had no problems with it. I'm I'm very easy to approach. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. All right. In terms of the interview as a whole, right, from start to finish, mm -hmm. did you see how everything was going in the line? Did it make sense? Did you learn anything? New? Yeah. Oh, I definitely learned a lot. Learned a lot of new things. I okay. did today, yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> so the last thing I'll ask from you, right, from a mental health standpoint, mm -hmm. maybe a life lesson you learned wise words that maybe somebody wants to say to you that you can share with my channel that can help you. Hmm. They could be anything. Maybe words you heard in a song. <laughs> um, I mean, personally, it's because, like, for me, you know, I am an overthinker. Yeah. So I would just say for other people like me to just, you know, get out of your head once in a while and not think so much and not care about what people think about you. Great. Yeah. Love that. All right. Well, thank you so much. Definitely appreciate you stopping. I know you got to get going. <laughs> yeah. All right. And we hope that you have a great one. Okay. Thank you. All right.